just to give you a really quick crash course. So a design sprint is a five phased process uh, using design thinking to really help kind of uncover insights, generate some ideas, test solutions and get feedback from real people. So that kind of empirical framework that all of us love, you know, taking the best of, you know, agile teams, taking the best of design thinking and lean startup and kind of mixing it into a recipe that you can run within five days. The process, it's a bit more prescriptive in, in the sense that it gives you exactly, you know, here's the recipe, here's some activities that you can facilitate across the five days. So day one, you are really trying to understand what is the, the challenge. Um, you, you use a number of visualization tools to really understand that. You know, figure out where you want to go in terms of what's the long-term goal, uh, how are we going to measure success, what are some key questions that we want to to answer in the sprint so that we can actually reduce some of the risk and get some um, clean yes or no answers to the direction that we're taking. You know, we typically bring in some people that have a good understanding of our end users. Maybe they've done some user research or there's some subject matter experts. Uh, again, we try and visualize overall what is the challenge, you know, across a user's journey, for example, pick a target. So the whole point of day one is really just to use a lot of visualization to understand the challenge and the problem. Day two, we start jumping into some solutions and we start off with getting some inspiration. So looking across multiple applications, different industries, for example, how are they solving related problems? Um, so we call that lightning demos where everybody gets an opportunity to showcase something that they like. It could be about a particular feature that also is solving a similar challenge coming from maybe a different app or a different product, for example, or service. Um, and then afterwards, we actually look at trying to leverage individuals and creativity and power of creativity from individuals um, across everybody together. So we're not relying on just, you know, the one genius or the one uh, brilliant person, for example. We're actually tapping the creativity from everybody. So we do that through a, a facilitated, um, you know, ideation session. And there's a number of different kind of activities that are run there to kind of warm up people so that we're we push beyond that initial idea and actually get a lot of different ideas that we can then uh, mix together to really provide a good solution. Day three is all about looking at making decisions. So now we're exploring all the different solutions and we're kind of highlighting what we like about each one. Uh, we go through a bit of a speed critique to kind of pick out the points that we think are most relevant. Um, and then afterwards, we make some sticky decisions. So we look at, okay, well, what, you know, which one is the one that we really want to move forward, build a prototype and actually start testing with real people. Once we've made that decision, we build a storyboard uh, and that storyboard is really a plan on what it's going to take to build the prototype. Um, so on day four, we actually start building a prototype and we're looking at, you know, something that's realistic. So a high fidelity or a facade that can actually get the best reactions out of people when we put it in front of them to test our assumptions or to test our hypothesis uh, or some of the hunches that we were making around the solution. Day five, we recruit people and bring them in. So real users to get them their perspective and, you know, look at um, getting um, some clean yes or no answers to the questions that we had, um, you know, keeping track of all of that information and then ultimately making a business decision around do we persevere, do we pivot or do we pull the plug? So all of that happens in a compressed format within five days. Um, so that was a crash course in design sprints. They're really good for, you know, if you've got to come up with some ideas or if you've got to test an idea, uh, if you're maybe kicking off a project or if your team is stuck in trying to figure out a way to, you know, look at how they can actually move forward, then they can be very powerful technique.